Hello everybody and welcome to the New Hampshire Motor Speedway for race number 18 of our 2023 NASCAR Heat 5 2023 mod career mode season number 2. Here at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway we look to get back into victory lane here with a good run here in New Hampshire coming off a strong, strong second place run at Iowa following a win at Sonoma and a second at Gateway before that. So we've got a good little stretch going here. Stories of the race, Joy Logano is slow today, Chris Buescher on the pole and AJ Allmendinger. Crash his primary car. He's in a backup. He's at the back of the field as now we are get underway here. Number 99 Smart Water Chevy for Track House Racing. Home track here in New Hampshire. The green flag is out. We are underway here in New Hampshire. The Foxwoods 301. Can we bring home the victory here in New Hampshire? Let's see. We've had a couple good short track runs. So 16 laps since opening stage of racing. We start 19th. Go the inside of Zane Smith. Ryan Priest already making passes by Bell. Blaney, Logano, Hamlin, Elliott. We're not messing around. We just like that. Through one corner, we've gone from 19th to 12th, plus seven spots in the first two corners. What a drive to start this race so far. Now we're going to dive to the inside of William Byron and Eric Jones, as well as Chastain, Gibbs, and Truex now. And we'll get physical forward. And now underneath Wallace and Kislowski. Just like that, out of three and four, we are into sixth place, fighting for fifth. Already up 13 positions in one lap. An incredible start to this race here in New Hampshire for ourselves. Now we go to the inside of Keselowski. We get around him for fifth. Now on the outside of five of Kyle Larson. Trying to hold us out for the most. Now we're in fifth. Larson fourth. Busher Reddick fight for second. Kyle Busch out in the lead early here in New Hampshire. We get a shove from Keselowski going into three and four. Give Larson a huge shot. Go three wide in between him. Reddick and Busher an aggressive but not three wide. Four wide that pass was. We make that work. Go by all three of them into second. A few laps there. We send it all the way to the inside of the eight of Kyle Busch. Door check him way wide. We both go as a shot from Kyle Larson. We will now take the lead away from Kyle Busch and complete an 18 spot charge and span just a couple of laps. We are now leading here at New Hampshire with 13 to go in stage one. Now on to just 10 to go in stage one. We go way wide in turn one two. Pushing it too much on the aggressive side there. Kyle Busch gets into our door. We side up the track. Bounce up the wall. Big contact between myself and Kyle Busch right there. Off of the wall trying to save it. We slam each other. Big contact allows Reddick and Bubba Wallace and Larson to go by. So it's now Larson and the 2311 Racing duo of Toyotas in front of us. We have to try to find a way by. Larson leads. Bubba Wallace is second and Tyler Reddick is third. We are currently here in fourth. Nine to go in stage one. Now down to eight to go in stage one. We go to the inside of the 45 of Tyler Reddick for the third place. We try to take that position back. Nice little send to turn one and two. A little bit of contact. Back to the corner. We will clear Tyler Reddick there with a very forceful slide up the racetrack on exit of turn two. As we now chase down the five of Kyle Larson for a second. Send it to the inside of him. I have no respect for him after what he pulled to Iowa. So no love loss between either of us here. We've, just, we've had a very intense rivalry. We've got a huge block there on the five of Larson. He's right in our back bumper. We hold him off for now. Just seven to go in stage one. A few laps later, we've cleared him, driven away into second. The caution will come out, ending stage one prematurely. Bubba Wallace gets a stage one win. We end up second. Then Reddick Larson and Gibbs the top five. You see the rest of the stage results there. But Bubba Wallace gets a stage one victory. We are second, but now we restart in third after pitting for a little bit of repairs with 30 now laps to go in stage two. We have the longest stage, uh, second longest stage of the day, which is 30. As they already make the move in turn 1-2, going right by Bubba Wallace and Tyler Reddick. A beautiful three-wide pass right there. We go by both of them into the lead here in New Hampshire. And now we try to hold off the 45. Tyler Reddick applying some pressure. A few laps later on to our left rear quarter panel. Cannot block Reddick there. We pitch him all the way down the track. Now go to the high side. Let him go. My try to cross over. We get stuck in his back bumper. And he will pull away now the race lead as I was a little bit too late on that move. He managed to block us with his bumper, and now we're stuck back here in second trying to hang on. A few laps later, Byron's got back around us for a second. We're in third, but now we send it underneath William Byron, making some contact, trying to get that second spot back, and we will clear Byron next to the turn four and are back into position number two here at New Hampshire. Tyler Reddick still leading, just driving away with it right now. So you do hold William Byron. Caution comes out on the race track at an interesting time. So everyone comes down pit road. We restart the lead. A great pit stop gets us out ahead of the 45 of Reddick with 15 to go in this second stage of racing to try to get the lead here, trying to get a stage win the best we can. Reddick Larson, two hungry drivers behind us, putting the heat on. Larson, very, very hungry. Needs to win to get in the playoffs right now below the cut line significantly. Reddick on our outside, of course, got that gateway win, stealing it from myself and the Hendrick drivers right in that last corner. Now we're trying to hold him off here as those William Byron's at three and four, which we will, a pretty good corner right there. We clear Reddick and Byron, but now Byron will go to the inside. And here comes the 24, William Byerling for his first win of the season. 14 to go in stage two. We try to spin between him and Larson. We do. We get to the inside of William Byron to turn one and two, making contact through the corner. We prevail on the inside lane. A great pass right there. A little bit of contact. Still intense side-by-side -side racing. 
here in New Hampshire down the back stretch into three and four for the final time we will clear the 24 of William Byron narrowly and secure the race lead until Kyle Larson peaks to our inside here comes the five we managed to hold them off narrowly the 13 to go in stage two here now later through turn one and two that same lap Larson now to our inside applying pressure contact moves us out of the way uses the bumper now we're slamming doors down the back stretch he's going to put us all the way into the wall I'm not appreciating that so in the corner we're going to send it and this door slam Larson hard and here comes John Hunter Nemechek the Legacy Motor Club Toyota driver comes out of nowhere Nemechek to the lead myself Larson who's a ton of momentum I have to make an evasive maneuver to avoid going to pit road and Nemechek is gone with 12 to go in stage you know, up 38 to 38 of Todd Gilliland has blown a tire and crashed he's going to back down the racetrack right to the path of his teammate Riley Earps and Harrison Burton they crash no caution Gilliland out done for the day now on the last lap of stage two Nemechek leading to get his first stage win today he's had a very strong uh, season so far in his first season in the Cup Series for a Toyota team with Lacey Motor Club. We are in second. Christopher Bell running in third, having some pressure on us. Bell has been very fast lately, but has not gotten the wins he's been looking for. I'm trying to hold him off here to the last corner. As John Hunter Nemechek will win stage two with a late pass late in the stage. He gets a stage win. We will narrowly hold off Christopher Bell to get second for the second stage in a row. That's 18 stage points on the day, two seconds. See the rest of the stage results there. But Nemechek, your stage two winner. Now on to the third and final stage of racing. Back underway here. Going to be a solid 27 laps to go. It's actually the shortest, uh, the second shortest stage. Stage two is the longest stage of the race. Now 27 to go. We are already clear of Byron. Slamming Christopher Bell who's going sideways. Crashing behind us. The 20 crashes with our aggressive send to turn one to try to get by John Hunter for the lead. We're door slamming down the back stretch. I'm trying to get whatever advantage I can. I know we have to get, we have to get this lead quick. But they're going to start hounding us. And we just got to be able to defend as hard as we can. Byron really putting the pressure on. We slide up the track way wide, almost into the wall. We somehow keep it off. But now Byron through the lead. And trying to hold off. Nemo 26 to go. And the controller disconnects. We're into the wall. The controller disconnects at possibly the worst possible time. And puts us in the wall, costing us dearly. As now we're slamming into Chris Busher, trying to just recover the car here for third. Byron and Truex gone first and second. And we have to settle here for third place after a disastrous turn of events as the controller disconnects for like the second or third time this season at an unopportune time. Now we're setting to the inside of the 19 of Martin Truex Jr. for second through three and four being ultra aggressive to get my positions back. We clear Truex, move into second and have to now chase down the 24 of William Byron. So now we're clear for second ahead of the 54 of Ty Gibbs. Sorry, the 45 of Tyler Reddick. He's got pressure and here comes Reddick to the inside with 13 to go trying to take second away. This time we managed to lift good enough we crossed him over but you know what he just has an incredible line through the corner and there's no way we can get around him right there and a very impressive move by Tyler Reddick to get in the second we have to fall down to third now a few laps later time for green flag pit stops Reddick comes in I follow him in slowing up extra just to make sure we don't speed on pit road just can't afford any costly penalty so all your leaders in for the money stop here at uh, New Hampshire we come in for a two tire strategy call two tires and gas right sides only gets back out there trying to gain some track position we come out eight second pit stop great job by the pit crew we come out currently scored in second but when we come out the car does not go the car does not go the controller disconnects again and now we're stuck here in fourth now down to fifth place after we would have been in second or third coming out of the pits but a disaster start right there we're still holding on on old left side tires down to fifth now under fire from Kyle Busch just trying to hang on to a top five now which looks like an almost surefire finish a couple of laps ago when we were running in third it looks like everything was going to work out but no it did not and now with five laps to go we have to chase down Truex, Elliott and Busher to get back into the top two Byron running away with the win here's now a few laps every cent to the inside of Truex makes him counting through three and four but make that pass quite easily into fourth now as we get around Martin Truex Jr. for a position and later that lap from down the back stretch here later in this race trying to chase down the nine and chase Elliott for position the caution will come out and we have NASCAR overtime here in New Hampshire everyone's got an opportunity Byron Busher the front row myself and Elliott really squeezing each other into the wall down the front stretch Elliott trying to wreck us I'm not taking that stone in the corner I send it in and just shove Chase Elliott as deep in there as possible now we try to go to the outside 
of Elliot and Chris Bush, but the car is so loose on these old tires, we just don't have the momentum to do it. Busher's now pending us almost against the wall. So now I just send it down the track, slam him, and just full send into three and four. A Hail Mary into the back of Byron. He slides, we save it. Byron and Elliot, they're gone though, and that may have been the race, and the caution will come out for Busher spinning behind us. And now it's overtime attempt number two. Here at New Hampshire, it is still the Hendrick drivers of Byron Elliott. Our Truex is third. We lift to get behind him, cross him over to the inside, and send it on William Byron being ultra aggressive. It is go time. It is you gotta do what you gotta do to get for the win. Every man for himself. We move Byron out of the way. Now here comes Truex for the lead. He has not really been much of a factor. Now here he is fighting for the lead in the closing laps. Now we send it back underneath him through three and four with help from Kyle Larson who's back in the mix. Basically, it's myself fighting the Hendrick Brigade and Martin Truex right now as we go wide. Let's turn for Larson to the inside. A white flag in the air. Final lap presented by Credit One Bank in New Hampshire. Who is going to win this race? We sent it in way too deep. Trying to block Kyle Larson to one and two. Go way wide. And now Larson will move into the race lead looking for his first win of the season on exit of turn two. We are under fire from Elliott. And now we have to throw another Hail Mary. This time slamming Elliott into punting. Kyle Larson as hard as we can in the three and four. He wipes out, cleans out Elliot and Byron behind us. The perfect uh, pinball effect. And out of turn four, we will somehow win at New Hampshire in a wild overtime final laps turn of events. What a finish. My goodness, that was incredible. Wow. No words really after that one. That was something else. Just the double overtimes and then the last last chance send in the three and four. Just punt the shit out of Kyle Larson to get revenge for Iowa when he dumped us down the front stretch and we spin him completely out and he gets a perfect ricochet effect right back into Elliott and Truex, bouncing them out of the way. We had enough of much to hold off William Byron. We brought on the dub and of course we just did our burnout. Now we do a nice little Polish victory lap around our home Cup Series racetrack of New Hampshire Motor Speedway. As a tribute to the fans and uh, just to celebrate uh, a hard-fought win for sure. You know, we definitely had a top three, top five car all race long. We're very good at defending. We defended second viciously for the final two stages of that race. Made it happen. Held on very well to second or third. In the pit stop, of course, a couple of control disconnections. But we still came back from that, overcame the adversity. And then uh, the two overtimes is what it took to us to get the right move and the right luck to bring home the win. Now we're going to come through down the front straightaway to finish up the burnout after a huge win here in New Hampshire. Our ninth win on the season. And we're going to victory lane to celebrate with the Trackhouse Racing Pit crew and team. And the fest is a slap of the sorry, sorry. Now we look at the final race results here in New Hampshire. Myself, your winner. Of course, ninth win of the season. You'll love to see it. William Byron, runner-up, strong run today. Carson Hosevar, career best third place finish. Shout out to him. Bowman in fourth. Truex rounds out your top five. Austin Dillon sixth. Josh Berry up in seventh. Tyler Reddick down to eighth. Busher ends up ninth. And Chase Elliott ends up tenth. After that last lap carnage there with Kyle Larson costing him multiple positions. Still an overall good day for Hendrick. Of course, Chevrolet with myself winning the 11th through 20th in the race results. Bubba and Nemechek, the stage winners, 11th and 13th. Kyle Busch in 12th there as well. Had a good run today. And 21st, then Kyle Larson ends up all the way down in 21st. A disappointing finish, but after we completely dumped him there on that last lap for the win, it is what it is. And 31st through 40th, DNFs for Todd Gilliland and our teammate Ross Chastain. Tough finishes for Bell and Hamlin, both outside the top 30. And so now we're going to head back to the updated point standings as we should continue to extend our regular season points lead like we've been doing all year long, and that will continue to be the case. Now leading William Byron by a comfortable 232 points. So, of course, we have nine wins. We're comfortably in the playoffs. Kozlowski and Truex each have two wins. Hamlin, Elliott, Chastain, McDowell, sorry not McDowell, Almondinger, and Reddick all have one win. So currently in the playoffs on points, you have Byron, Bell, Bowman, Bush, and Busher, who have been that way for a while now in the top 10 in points comfortably in the playoffs. Also, it is John Hunter Nemechek having a tremendous season, as well as Bubba Wallace and Ryan Blaney. Now with the first four drivers out being Josh Berry, Joy Logano, Ty Gibbs, and Carson Hosevar having a pretty 
solid mid-year charge. I see the rest of the point standings there. Larson down in 23rd, trying to work his way up into contention, but he's just had a tough go of it. Not what he was looking for. And to try to get back to the playoffs and have a shot. Because all he needs is a chance, and you can go crazy in the playoffs. Now we're going to have to victory lane. I see the fastest lap of the race will go to myself with a 29.75. So very impressive right there. We're getting the fastest lap, but Byron led the most laps today, leading 31 in a dominant performance. And on the move is A.J. Allmendinger from last to 19th, plus 21 on the day. An impressive drive from A.J. And a tough break, though, goes to our teammate of Chastain, unfortunately losing 32 spots from 8th to 40th. And how I see the playoff grid. We are comfortably in with our ninth victory on the season now, really starting to pull away with the championship lead. Then Truex and Brad are our two multi-time winners. Then you got Hamlin, Elliott, Reddick, Almendinger, and Chastain, five drivers with one win. So we are still at eight with seven races to go, so all the winners are officially in the playoffs. Then Byron, Bell, Bowman, Bush, Busher, Nemechek, pretty comfortable on points. Bubba Wallace currently sits plus 49. Ryan Blaney on the bubble, 16 above Josh Berry, who's out by 16. Logano out by 25. Gibbs out by 41. Hosevar out by 55. And Priest out by 76. So until the next episode at Kentucky, I hope you all have a good one.